I want to see how Yoav Borovich dazzles both you and mm -hmm. me right now with the sports news that Telchelev and myself have been waiting for all week. So we'll, we'll start with very big news from last night. Michel Platini, we all know him as a great footballing legend from the 80s. He's been the president of UEFA for the last uh, decade. Now he wanted to be the president of FIFA, a.k.a. the strongest. <laughs> I was about to Okay. The strongest man in world football, but he decided to resign, not to run, because Platini has been linked in the last few months to corruption, because we know that four years ago he got two million Swiss francs from Seb Blatter, the previous FIFA president. So FIFA is telling Platini now, you cannot run. This is huge news in world football. Now, what, what, what it means is that the two favorites now to become FIFA presidents are Sheikh bin Khalifa from Bahrain and Prince Ali bin Hussein from Jordan. We all know the legendary King Hussein here. His son was living in, in London, actually, who is only 39 years old, is right. running now to be FIFA president. It's going to be very interesting. We support him. We support anyone that has to do with the he's Hashemite our neighbor. kingdom. He's yeah. our neighbor. Yeah, and he's, uh, uh, he's King Abdallah's brother. He is. He, he is King Abdallah's That's, young uh, brother. That's good enough for us. Young <laughs> brother. And uh, yeah, he's he's one of the favorites now to become world uh, football's no, it's, strongest it's, man. I think that the, the intricate, you know, the mechanisms, the drama behind the, no the nomination of a new FIFA leader yeah, we need to, we, we make for the edit. best television series yes, ever. Yes, and yeah. we need to realize that the FIFA leader, the FIFA president, is more powerful than a lot of heads of state of in state. the no, world. No, no. It's Inter really one of the most powerful positions in the world. It's going to be very interesting because we have the elections at the end of February. Now, moving yes. from Platini to the next legendary French uh, player, Zinedine Zidane. We all know the great Muslim player, the symbol of the new France, of the integrated France who won the World Cup in 1998. He just became this week the head coach of Real Madrid, the biggest club in the world. They fired their previous coach, Rafa Benitez, and they appointed Zidane. Now Zidane never coached a big team in his ask, life. Yeah, yeah, and he wasn't even inclined on being a coach for many years, but because he's such a legendary figure, because he is revered so much in Madrid, they say Zidane will get the credit and he will try to, to implement this new romantic uh, Real Madrid after many years of despair over there. Irres irrespective of the fact that and he doesn't have any kind of um, uh, experience he coaching has, the team. He's co he coached um, some minor league teams under the Real Madrid umbrella, but it's not like coaching the biggest club in the and world. Let's listen to it's a new stage for me that's been announced. It's a new role, uh, something that I've taken time to work through. And today it's a challenge which is undoubtedly difficult, but it excites me and I'm keen to rise to the challenge and do my best so that we can win titles because that's the most important thing. I think because, you know, you're giving us, you're bringing the sports news, but we have the commentator in studio as well, and I think you're voting for this as well, right? Yeah. It's fine, you're fine. And okay. I'll just mention the very infamous Zidane moment from the World Had Cup of 2006 when Marco Matarazzi said, you know, defamed Zidane's sister. We all know what he did. He, he came and headbutted him yeah. and was removed from the game. And his last game of his career in the most important game because he was standing for the honor of his family of apparently his family. now let's move from football to yes. basketball we all know Omri Kaspi the big Israeli NBA uh, star now maybe becoming these days and what's been happening here in Israel in the last few days is just crazy because Israel Ayom the daily Israeli, Israel today yeah. Israel today the daily that is linked to Prime Minister Netanyahu and owned by Sheldon Adelson said we are opening a campaign for Omri, Ka Omri Kaspi to be voted to the NBA all-star now let's all realize Omri Kaspi is a nice player but he's by no means an NBA all-star but they're saying no let's the whole country let's vote for him because if all of Israel will pull for Omri Kaspi we might get him in now it's not only Israel today it's also the Israeli sports channel now also joined it now it became a huge public it's becoming a huge public campaign to push Omri Kaspi to the all-star now if Omri Kaspi you know sometimes you have a good you know you want to do something good but you end up not doing a good thing yeah, but if he will get in to the all-star it will become the biggest talking point in American sports how Israel got this player who is so far from being an all-star to become an all-star 
Now we should think if it's a good thing or not such a good thing for him to actually be voted. To be voted, and I mean, can that work though with a campaign of a news of a, of a newspaper and, and signatures and whatnot? I mean, I mean even if the, everyone in Israel votes for uh, for yeah. votes for Omri Kaspi, is that enough, like, to overcome other players it's in the a, states? It's, it's a good question because many people in the states are actually not voting. The leader now is Kobe Bryant with two eight eight hundred and fifty thousand votes. Let's say Omri Kaspi will get I don't know one point right. five million from Israel or two, so he might be a candidate. I still doubt it, but it's interesting. Let's move from football. Please. From, let's go to the other football, American football, because we know that and this is the biggest league in the world. It, it brings in more than $14 billion a year. The playoffs are starting tomorrow for the next month. All of America will just be talking NFL football. And we already know today who are going to be the big stars of the big game. And those are going to be Beyonce and Coldplay. Now, to be performing in the Super Bowl, you don't get any money. You don't get any money, but it doesn't doesn't matter. All the big artists in the world would pay millions to just be there. It's a moment of prestige. If you play in the Super Bowl, the PR, The PR is incomparable. And exactly, to be there is just unbelievable, especially for a British band like Coldplay. We we know that Super Bowl, the, the ratings in the U.S. are over 50%. And there we have it. No, and you know, we're going to be looking out for that, and maybe we'll vote for her in Israel today. All the time we have for today. Do.